हेलो माई सेल्फ मिस्टर सतीश थलंगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वॉलचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी रिगार्डिंग द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट नेटवर्क क्रैशिंग और यू कैन से कंप्रेशन एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन द पर्टिकुलर लर्नर विल बी एबल टू डिटरमाइन द ऑप्टिम टाइम एज वेल एज ऑप्टिम कॉस्ट असोसिएट विद द पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट विच इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू मेक अ डिसीजन रिगार्डिंग द प्रोजेक्ट शेड्यूलिंग here the total project cost is nothing else it is a particular summation of direct cost as well as indirect cost and a crashing of network or you can say crashing of activity is nothing else a reduction in of the time or duration of the particular activity a optimum cost of the particular activity or you can say overall project here we are interested to crash the particular activity or you can say reduce the duration of the activity to minimize the overall project duration by considering the optimum cost also this is a particular project in which we are observing that there are the four activities with their normal duration as well as normal cost crash duration as well as crash cost and the indirect cost associated with the particular project is 2000 per week this is a a normal network diagram construction of a particular project which is showing that the particular project critical path is 1 2 3 and 4 and the overall project duration of is 13 weeks and this is a table which is showing the floats of respective activities or you can say individual now this is a slide which is showing you the particular a cost loop of each respective activity when we observe all these four activity your the particular values of each activities are being determined which is showing that 4000 is a cost loop of first activity and as follow now this is a first step which is showing you that this is a time scale diagram of normal network diagram here the normal network diagram or you can say a non scale network diagram is now represented by the scalar representation which is called as time scale diagram we take a baseline as a baseline as a critical path and left activities are represented above and the below the baseline now the overall total project duration is nothing else it is a 13 weeks and the total normal direct cost of the project is a summation of all the normal cost of the particular activity in this table this is a normal duration and the cost associated with the normal durations are overall 4000 3000 3600 5000 5, summation of this we get the 15600 and the total indirect cost of the project is equal to project duration multiplied by indirect cost per week that is 13 multiplied by 2000 that is 26000 so in the initial stage without crashing the overall total project cost is nothing else it is summation of total direct cost plus total indirect cost it's a 41600 now let's start to crash the activities now we have to observe the table here i have shown you that this is a activities it is a, and the second column is representing the delta t which is showing that we can compress this practical respect to activity by 2 weeks 3 weeks and 2 weeks and 2 weeks and their cost loop of each respect to activities are represented in this particular column now let's start to observe the first observation when i observe this particular cost loop table or you can say the table which is showing the activities the delta t and as well as cost loop we are observing that 1200 is a minimum cost loop of activity 24 but this 24 activity is a non critical activity so i will go for the second cost loop minimum second minimum cost loop that is 1500 and it is related to 2 3 activity yes this is a 2 3 activity when i observe this 2 3 activity the parallel activity is 2 4 so my option first if i compress activity 2 3 by 2 weeks then the extra cost will be 3000 plus 2 which is equal to 3000 rupees means if i compress activity 2 3 the extra cost 
that is direct extra cost will be 3000 because when we are going to compress the activity means what we are going to complete the activity with the faster so to get the complete with minimum duration we have to assign the more resource then the more resource uh, then extra cost okay so this is table which is showing you that activity 2 3 is being compressed by two weeks and its extra cost is 3000 but activity 2 4 it is shown as it's zero because here 2 4 activity is having the float of 2 as we see in the this particular table sorry here 2 4 is having the float of 2 so if I compress it by two weeks so it won't consume any extra cost so it's 0 into 1200 it's 0 so summation of this we get 3000 means if I compress activity 2 3 activity by two weeks the extra cost is 3000 that is the first option second option uh, I can say second option or second observation in second option after 2 3 activity that is after 1500 the next minimum is particular like is the 2500 when I observe which is of activity 3 4 when I observe 3 4 activity again the pal activity is 2 4 only so if I compress 2 3 4 activity by 2 weeks then the extra cost will be 5000 because a 3 th uh, activity 3 4 if I compress by 2 a 2 into 2500 it's a particular 5000 okay actually it should it should be 5000 okay so finally when i observe the option 1 and observe option 2 the 3000 is good as compared to the option 2 that is 5000 so compression of activity 2 3 by 2 weeks which adds extra cost of 3000 only so i will go with that compression of activity 2 3 now after compression we should determine what is the overall duration of the particular project and the overall total project cost so the duration of the particular project is now 11 and now the total normal direct cost is equal to summation of overall normal cost plus additional extra cost this 15600 plus 3000 that is a 18600 because in first step when we observed here the normal uh, normal direct cost was first day without compression it was 15600 we have to take as it is plus additional cost because we have compressed the activity to three that additional cost is 3000 so 18600 and the total indirect cost of the project is nothing else it's equal to project duration multiplied by indirect cost of indirect cost per week so 11 multiplied by 2000 that is 22000 so total project cost is equal to total normal direct cost of project plus total indirect cost of the project that is the summation of a plus b we are getting 40600 now this is newly obtained time scale diagram of the project duration 11 now let's move towards the next step with help of this time scale diagram we have to compress once again in the third step we are going to compress again let see because in when we are observed the first step we are getting 41600 now the project duration and as well as is reduced as well as the project cost has been reduced that is 40600 now let's see uh, let's try to compress once again whether the let's you know, after compression whether the cost is same or it is increasing let's see again when i observe the particular activity e 2 3 activity its cost slope is 1500 same here i will go for the first option if i compress activity 2 3 activity by one way the extra cost will be of now 2700 that is how which has been represented in this table when i here when i observe 2 3 activity by compression again the activity 2 4 is parallel but now when here in the present time scale diagram we are observing that 2 3 activity is not having the float because it is already consumed in the earlier step so the second option is what when we observe with the second option if i compress activity through to three four activity by one week then the extra cost is of four thousand see when out of these two activities or you can say two options the first option is adding the extra cost of two thousand seven hundred and second option is adding an extra cost of four thousand so 
I finalized to go with to compress the activity to three by one week, which is adding the extra cost of only 2700. And now we have to determine the overall total project duration that is 10 weeks only because we have reduced it by one week. So it from the 11, it will reduce to 10. So the no total normal direct cost of the project is 18,600 18, plus 2,700 is equal to 21,300 and the total indirect cost of the project is nothing else project duration as it has been reduced by one week now the project is of 10 weeks so 10 into 2000 that is 2000 the summation of these two we get the overall project cost but where here we are observing that total project cost is equal to a particular 41,300 so this is a table which is showing you that the total direct cost indirect cost and total project cost we are here we are observing that on the overall project duration of 13 weeks the total project cost cost was 41600 on the 11 it was 40600 but when we compress to the 10 it is now 41300 means here it has been increased so finally i declare that the optimum duration and the optimum cost of the project is nothing else it's 11 week and the cost is of 40600 this is a graphical representation of the overall total project cost as well as direct cost and the indirect cost. Here it is a point where we are observing that it is a having the minimum total project cost. And these are the lines of a direct cost as well as the indirect cost. And the duration of the project is 11. These are the references for the today's session. Thank you.